So you're working in Unity and you go to push play or upload your avatar and you see all compiler errors have to be fixed before you can enter play mode. Now you have no idea how to deal with errors. You see some red text at the bottom of your screen. You don't know what it says. You're not a programmer. You're not a developer. How do you deal with this as an end user? How do you deal with these errors in a way that makes sense without actually understanding what they all mean? So that's what this video is going to talk about. The first thing you want to do is go to your console. If you don't see it, you can go to window, windows, and then console. Head on over to the top right. There's three things that can show up in your console. There's messages, warnings, and errors. The only thing we really care about right now are the errors. So we're going to disable messages and we're going to disable warnings. We're going to head on over to the left side. We're going to collapse, which is going to make duplicate errors, just stack. And then we're going to push clear. Now the only thing that should be left are errors relevant to us. There's still a massive number of them and we don't know what any of them mean. So let's just go right up to the top. Let's look at the first error. So we have a timestamp of when it happened, not really important. And then we have the folder or like the address of where it is. So we see assets, dynamic bone, scripts, dynamic bone one.cs. And then we see a whole bunch of gibberish that you don't really understand that explain the actual error. But all that really matters to you is the address right here. Assets, dynamic bone, scripts, dynamic bone. So let's go into the folder and we got to find assets, dynamic bone. So we're going to go to assets, then dynamic bone, and then scripts. And then we know the error is in here, but again, we're not programmers. We don't know what the heck these scripts do. We just know that we need dynamic bones for whatever we're doing. We're going to go in here. We're going to delete dynamic bones. I'm going to head back on over to our console. We're going to see that the errors are gone now. If you see more errors, you're just going to rinse and repeat. And if they're all gone, you're going to go back to your project, evaluate what you need. So if you do need dynamic bones, you're going to go back to the asset store, import dynamic bones, port them into your project, go back to your console, make sure those errors didn't pop back up. So there was something wrong with your dynamic bone installation. Maybe you didn't buy it. Maybe you've downloaded it with an avatar. Maybe an avatar you got came with dynamic bones. And if that's the case, they may overlap with the ones that you had installed previously. And now that we have gotten rid of all those files. We can go back up to the top, press play, and it entered play mode successfully. As somebody who doesn't understand what you're doing with those errors, the best thing you can do is just to get rid of the things that are causing them. And you wanna get rid of them at like the highest level. So if they're all inside one folder, you wanna get rid of that folder. Anything that's like part of the same thing. Don't go and delete individual scripts. That's, that's just gonna break more things. So if dynamic bones have a problem, delete dynamic bones. Check and make sure that the problem doesn't exist still, and then go and import dynamic bones properly. That's really all the advice I can give you from like a super generalized sense. If you have any more problems, you can head on over to the Discord. There's a link in the description below. As always, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.